Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, June 6, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today we got a guest diary by Gephardt. Uh, Gephardt looked into how to quickly decrypt uh, archives like zip files that may contain malicious uh, content. Of course, this is something that's not new. We have seen this a lot uh, where email attachments uh, arrive as an encrypted zip file. The password is often in the email or maybe an image, but uh, sometimes it may also be something that a victim downloaded from a website and the password was displayed on that website, but now you no longer have access uh, to it. So it may be necessary to relatively quickly decrypt uh, this uh, zip file by just brute forcing it. There are dedicated tools to this very quickly. The solution that Gephardt came up with distinguished itself by basically being implemented in a simple bash script. And of course, the advantage is you don't need to install or even purchase any speci- specific software. It's not the fastest way to brute force passwords. But overall, if you consider the time it would take to acquire and uh, configure and actually learn how to use a particular uh, piece of software, this may be the overall uh, simpler and quicker way of uh, doing it. And we got an update for KeePass. Uh, KeePass, the password manager, I mentioned it a week or so ago, had a vulnerability where the password, the master passphrase used to unlock a KeePass could be retrieved from memory. This was in part uh, due to the way how the passphrase dialog was displayed. So this was uh, fixed now. CVE 2023. 32784, definitely something that you want to apply. Proof of concept exploits are out there, but do require code execution privileges on the host that has a key pass running. And in miscellaneous updates, we do have updates from Splunk actually released on June 1st. 12 vulnerabilities are being addressed here. Five of them are rated as high, mostly privilege escalation vulnerabilities. Uh, For example, an interesting one where if a user has the edit user capabilities, well, uh, they can also then escalate their uh, privileges. Looks like some of these basic API issues, again, that we have here. Now, Splunk in its forwarder also patches a critical vulnerability. This is actually an issue with curl that comes bundled uh, with the Splunk forwarder. And Vladimir Poland, the developer of Adblock Plus, has written a blog post about, well, a good number of malicious Google Chrome extensions. This is something that just keeps on happening. There are apparently 34 different extensions that Vladimir did discover that had a total of 87 million downloads. In particular, looking at the number of downloads, this is certainly a big uh, problem. Now, there are sort of some common themes among uh, those extensions. For example, extensions to download uh, videos from YouTube and such. Well, Adblock extensions and uh, VPN extensions, all of that uh, sort of appears to be used here to attract uh, users. Uh, There are also an interesting one here, auto skip uh, for YouTube. Uh, I think it's supposed to skip over ads in YouTube. Sometimes these extensions can behave uh, like they're actually working, but they often do come with additional payloads. They do have the ability to inject arbitrary JavaScript into web pages, which then could, of course, be used to insert keystroke loggers, additional ads, which is uh, more commonly uh, being done here, or whatever the attacker feels like doing uh, to that particular web page. Most of the extensions, but interestingly, not all of them have already been removed from the Google Chrome add-on store. And finally, we do have updates from Symantec. Uh, One high vulnerability allows command injection in the advanced secure gateway and cont analysis. Same product. We also do have an elevation of a privilege vulnerability and uh, then a less severe store cross-site scripting and a server-side request forgery vulnerability. 
Well, and this is it for today. Thanks for listening. If I missed anything, uh, let me know if there's any story that I should have covered. Uh, send me a link. Uh, or if you like the podcast, I haven't sun- asked for this in a couple episodes, well, uh, please recommend it. Uh, please leave a review with your favorite podcast platform. Or just uh, let me know uh, what we can possibly improve. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.